Hello there, it's DMAC. Uh, if the topography looks a little different, it's because it is. Uh, been talking about changes in my life. If y'all haven't got the gist of that in my last couple videos, this is it. We moved. We still got the old farm. This is another place we bought, or in pro and we're in buying, and uh, it's uh, up here in the Ozark Hills. Uh, not quite mountains, maybe, maybe mountains. I don't know how. We've got a pretty good chunk here. Uh, we got five acres, and we're pretty high. <laughs> it's a it's a long ways down to that bottom down there. But anyway, I wanted to get out in the hills a little bit. The wife did too. So this place come up, and we jumped on it. So going to be starting some new things, uh, getting things worked out here. Thought I'd take y'all with me. Splitting some wood. I don't have my splitter, it's down on the, on the farm, but I do have some tools here that you can use if you don't have a splitter. Uh, this is kind of the old time way. I found a axe head one time at an old place that looks like it had been beaten into a mushroom. And all it was, he used it, and that's how we're going to use this. I got a double bladed axe here. Axes are not the best for splitting. I prefer a splitting maul. But, you know, if you don't have one, you can split wood with an axe. Uh, we'll just go through the process and I'll kind of tell you what I'm talking about. Alright, so, get this camera where I can kind of see one. If you was just throw a piece of wood up here and start splitting at it, you could really have some trouble. Might take you a few whacks, might take you more than a few. So you want to do what we call reading the wood and tilt that As you can see there's already some pretty prevalent cracks you want to kind of use those as a guide line to find weaknesses straight across right now I'm just busting this in half so see we got a knot here that means the grains not going to be real straight in that area we want to kind of stay away from that and we got a limb over here there used to be a limb right here y'all see that or not so that means the grain is going to go down here and around so we don't we don't want to really split it through here there's too many obstacles we all we got a nice crack through here so we're just going to stick our wedge in this is if you don't have a splitting maul or maybe you're getting old like me we're going to find that crack we're going to hit a couple times and see what happens Yeah, see, we had another knot over here. This isn't, this is hardwoods. This isn't no uh, pine or nothing, so anything like this is going to cause you a little trouble. But for now, I just want to get this in half so that I have a better chance of splitting it with my axe. We got our piece in half now. That's what I wanted. Without a splitting maul, all I got is this axe. A lot of times, getting that first one split in half you can bury your axe and it ain't fun so the wedge and the hammer gets it done not a lot of energy and you can do quite a bit before you get tired out then you can do the axe work uh, once again you're looking at the lines through here and that's going to make things easier on you the straighter the grain the better red oak white oak both have pretty straight grains for hardwoods that are better for cutting. Black oaks, a little different. They pop a little bit too in the fire. I don't like them a whole lot. Uh, hickory burns real hot. Really hard to split. It's a, uh, it's kind of, it's in fibers are meshed together really tough. So when you're splitting wood, I don't want to get into this rock. So I'm aiming for that log. It's kind of like when you're punching. <laughs> they used to teach us in martial arts. When you're punching, you're not punching for their nose. You're trying to punch the back of their head. 
So I'm aiming for this log so I don't short stroke it and come back and hit me. And then you just cut your pieces. But you want that axe to hit that log every time. There you got firewood. And also if you got a piece that has a little knot in the bottom, if it's straight up here, you want to hit it here so it has a lot straighter lines to go through. You don't want to hit it up top where that knot is. Turn it over. Well, this may seem monotonous to some people or not real vital information. I know it's not the most exciting thing, but when you're learning to split wood, you can waste a lot of time and a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy anyway. It's work. It's hard work. But if you don't read the wood, it can be even harder work. So let the line let the wood tell you what to do. Remember, learn your wood and it'll make things a whole lot easier on you. When it comes to keeping warm. Till next time, this is T Mac. This is kind of the start of some, just some general. I don't know what you call it, even uh, homestead knowledge. I guess I don't know. Backwoods knowledge is what I'll call it. We're gonna be following some trees, talking about that, and you know, just cleaning up some property. And I'm gonna take y'all with me. This is where a lot of my time is gonna be spent here, pretty quick. So. Until next time, Miss T Mac, love you all, God bless, and I'll see you next time. Wild for the Outdoors. Check us out around the cabin. That's www.aroundthecabin.com. Check the campfire for listings of our live show.